Hello, this is a video lesson on how to play the cello two part, the second cello part for Despacito. I'm going to share the screen with you and uh, show you what the part looks like and what the music looks like. And um, then we're going to talk a little bit about what new ideas you have here that you haven't seen before. And um, then we're going to play through with some of it. Uh, this didn't take as long as the melody part because there aren't as many details. But there are some things that are important um, that you haven't seen, like, for instance, this dash with the three over it. <clears throat> this means you're counting three empty measures. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Why am I counting it that way? Because there are four beats in a measure. So you're counting to four three times. And if you say the number of what time it is, first time, second time, third time, um, that helps you keep track. Of course, if it says, you know, 125, you want to break that up. But we're never going to get there. Don't worry about it. Also, you probably won't even have to do that counting because there's a violin solo. And then the melody has two notes. And then everybody starts. And um, we will be practicing that in class. And I will be pointing at you and saying the word go and whatever else that we need to do to get it done. So there's nothing to worry about there. Um, you have... Um, so notes on the blue string. Um, we learned the open strings at the beginning of the year. We really haven't played anything um, on any other strings besides D and A. Blue is G. And basically you take the same concepts that you did before. You just go to that cer certain string and you put down the certain amount, amount of fingers that um, you see in the number in the top. So blue string, third finger, says so there's a three makes B. Okay? Then you have blue string with a zero. That's G. Okay? Then the third note is green with a zero. And the fourth note is A. Number one on the blue string. Blue with a one. And then this little dash here at the end is called a full measure rest. And you just say to yourself, one, two, three, four. And when we're in class, we might actually be saying those things outside, outside, uh, out loud. Um, every line in this song is the same, except for <coughs> the last one. Instead, instead of counting one, two, three, four, you play D and then A. So open D string, one on the G string, and then you're going to go to B, which is the third finger on the... D string, a G string, third finger on the G string. Hello. So there's no new notes there. They're just played longer. And you can see it looks like a quarter note that hasn't been colored in. When it looks like that, that is called a half note. A quarter note, that's this thing over here, that is held for one beat. But when it's not colored in, it is held for two beats. And you can see there's four beats in a measure. That's everything between this line and that line. So you got two plus two. Two beats plus two beats equals four beats. And you can see on here I forgot to put a color. That's supposed to be green. <laughs> so if you have your part at home and you didn't color that in yet because I didn't color it either, put some green there. Okay. So at this point you should have your own music on your music stand. I am going to stop sharing. And I'm doing that so that you can see what my hands are doing. Or at least you can hear it, see my arm here and this hand. So you can see what note is going on. So please take a look at your music. If you haven't, please print it up. Or, you know, get it, get it um, showing on an iPad or something. Or split your screen, whatever it takes. And here we go. All right. The other thing that's really important is that you count evenly. Um, the harmony parts, violin two viola two, cello two, bass, ta, ti, ti, ta, 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 ti, ti, ta, ta, slower, ta, ti, ti, ta, 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 ti, ti, ta, ta, okay, that is, um, that is the engine that runs the song, so the people who are playing the, the, the melody, yeah, that's the tune, but they're the passengers, you are driving, so you need to make sure you count the proper number of times that you play a note and that you don't speed up or slow down because otherwise 
everyone else is going to get lost. Okay? And if you look at this music, you will see how many times you play each note. So you play two times B, two times G, two times D, one time A. That means it doesn't mean you play it two times. You play the rhythm pattern two times. So so ta ti ti ta ta that's one and then ta ti ti ta ta that's two. Okay? So I'm going to be saying the note and then counting one two so that you know how many that you've made. And then at the end you're going to play one time and then count here one two three four. Okay? So this bar here is a whole measure rest that is four beats of quiet. But we're going to say one two three four. All right, I'm going to stop sharing. Let's get through this. We're going to play the first line through, just one, uh, just one note at a time. Then we're going to play through three lines, and then we're just going to play the last line. We don't have to play this whole song for this lesson because it would be boring. <laughs> so, um, But when we are rehearsing, I'm going to say line A, line B, line C, line D. So you can see in the music. I don't think I... You can see in the music at the beginning of the line, there's these letters A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And these are called um, rehearsal marks. So that when we are rehearsing, when we are practicing together, I can say, okay, everybody, let's do line F. And we're going to stop at line, at the beginning of line G. Or let's start at E and stop right before G. So that we have very clear directions what we're supposed to do. So be cognizant, be aware. Um, pay attention to those letters. It is important. Okay, so we're gonna start with line A. So you're gonna do. You're gonna play. The first note is B. So on your blue string, the G. You're gonna put three fingers down, and you're gonna play this rhythm, ta, ti, ti, ta, ta, two times. Ready? Go. One, two. Then you're gonna lift up those fingers. And play the same string, and you're gonna play that rhythm two times. Ta, ti, ti, ta, ta, go. Ta, ti, ti, ta, 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 ti, ti, ta, ta. Now you're gonna move your bow over to your green D string, and you're gonna play that two times. One, two. Then you're gonna go back to your blue G string, and you put your first finger. You're not gonna slide like this. I'm just showing you this string. Then you put your first finger on the first tape, and that's A. Play that rhythm one time. And then say one, two, three, four. Let's try it without stopping. Well, let's, start, let's try it with a little bit of stopping without me doing so much talking. So get ready for your B. Two times. Go. Two. G. Two times. Go. One. Two. D. Two times. Go. D. two times go sorry one time one two three four all right let's play through the whole line without stopping one two ready B second time G second time D second time A one two three four okay that's how you get through one line. Let's play three lines worth of this. Okay, so we're going to do line A, line B, and line C. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Now, I would like you now to go down 
to line G. And it ends like this. So just look at the last two measures. Down here. And let's just practice that. So D, A, B. Again, D, A, B. Last time. D, A, B. All right, let's start line G from the beginning. And I'm going to keep the, the music up for this so you can keep track of it. One, two, one, two, ready, B. Again, B. And G. G again. And D. And again. And A. D. A. B. That's all you need to know to play this song. Good luck and happy practicing.